हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लारावल इलेवन रूल्स एंड परमिशंस लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस लाइक अ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन कवर लाइक अ सेटअप थीम्स मींस द थीम्स डाउनलोड रिमूव द पब्लिक फोल्डर एंड डेटाबेस कनेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर सो बिफोर वी कैन स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल अदर इन दिस सीरीज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्लीज प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो वट एवर कॉन्टेंट वी आर अपलोडिंग सो ऑलवेज गेट द नोटिफिकेशन यू कैन स्टार्ट इमीडिएटली न्यू थिंग लर्निंग and also do you want to buy anything about script just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it and do you want to develop as a freelancer work just contact telegram whatsapp and skype okay so first we can remove the public inside a url is like look like show suppose you are run the project so is run inside a public so it's not good so just we need to remove the public in first so just go to your folder whatever place you are a place your project just go to is folder go to inside publics and just copy means select all and control x otherwise you can make right click and cut and you can put outside like a here so you can see all the data whatever there inside a public means files is going to outside public now we can go back and we can run the projects so you can see error generated suppose i can go back and run the project like a localist slash permission my folder name means a project name so you can see two errors showing so simple you need to go to back inside a routes so, sorry inside a index.php and you need to remove like a dot dot slash in three places just you can remove and after you can save and just go back again refresh the page so you can see publics there inside url it's a completed remove okay now we need to make like database connection second point is a database connection because without database connection how we can log in how we can create like a permission table user against we have roles tables everything we can do so we can do it inside a database so we need a database connection so just go to local host inside you need to create a new menu sorry new database like a permission So whatever project name you are there, you can create. Suppose my project name is a permission. This reason I am creating permission. Suppose your side is a different, so you can create a different. Just click on the create. So you can see it. Table is means a database is a created. Now you need to go to like a dot env file. Just go to env file. And here you can see it like a DB connection, SQLite. But our side is a MySQL. Suppose your side, whatever there, you can change. My side is a MySQL, so I will change to SQLite is new to MySQL. I just change. Here I need to remove because it's already commented code. I don't want to comment here code. So just I am removing all thing. Okay, my host is a local host. Whatever you are there, you can use your one. Now my database name is a permission. I already create with you. Port you can make same as whatever there here. and your username is a root suppose i think always is a like local host you can go so username is a root and live server so your username and password is a different and i have no password this reason i have password is blank okay just go back again and we can make php artisan php artisan migrate and also you can change your app url so my app url here like local host permission just i can change so you can see like local host slash permission my app url okay so database connection is done now we need to go back again and we need to open the terminal and inside terminal you need to write like a simple command php artisan migrate is very simple very easy php artisan migrate and just press the enter so you can see it is a table creating like a create cache jobs like this table create Let's go back again, and we can refresh the page so we can check the table is available or not available. So you can see all table available: like cache, logs, fail, job, job, job branches, migrations, password reset, sessions, and users. So whatever by default table there inside the Laravel, this table he can create here. Okay. So just go to users table. So here you can see it like same as there in Laravel 10, same thing here there in Laravel 11. So it is not changing, but he is a change like cache, cache logs. Like this, some table he add up more, but we have not discussed because 
we have created like this projects we need to use so i can explain what is the meaning about like cache and what is the meaning about cache locks table like means other table i think migration table i think everybody know about that okay so it's correct now you can see php has migrate and database connection is correct now also you can see it let's go back again refresh the screen so now no any errors it is working very well okay so first we have removed like public inside url second we are create a database connection with we did migration now we need to work another thing means we need to download themes which themes we are using for our side so just you can search in google nice admin i like it this themes whatever theme do you want to like you can do it and this project i think every time working in builds means uh, whatever project work and you do you want to implement directly so you can easily possible so just you can search inside a nice admin inside google and after you can see like a bootstrap made just click on the first link so you can see it look like show let's go to demo so demo here you can see it here and we need to use login so his login is good also you can see it like a uh, form tables everything here there so we can use this theme so whatever theme do you want to like you can use your hand but i will use this theme so just click on the free download and we can download easily you can see it here so it is working very well and the themes is downloading ready and here you can see suppose you are following the my series other series so here already download so nice admin is folders available and i will click on the any pages so you can see it look like show like dashboard component and everything show so our first screen in our project here is a login screen okay suppose user can log in we don't need register we don't need forget password just we need a login screen so i will explain how to set up these themes inside our side in a next video in this video i will cover remove the public folder how to migration database connection and also we have did like a download admin themes so nice admins we are downloading and also i show you how it looks show nice admin you can see it now your side whatever you can download your themes it is possible just you need to clear the goal what we can do it so permission work inside your projects okay and do you have a question for this video in this video so please comment out and do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching error solutions